Most you can hope from is some knowledge of yourself that comes too late. A crop of unstinguishable regrets. I have wrestled with death. It takes place in impalpable grayness with nothing underfoot, with nothing around, without spectators, without clamor, without glory, without the great desire of victory, without great fear of defeat, in a sickly atmosphere of tepid skepticism, without much belief in your own right, and still less in that of your adversary. If such is the form of ultimate wisdom, then, fe then life is a greater riddle than some of us think to be. Since I peeped over the edge myself, I understand the better meaning of this tear that could not see the flame of the candle, but was wide enough to embrace the whole universe, piercing enough to penetrate all the hearts that beat in darkness. He had summed up, he had judged. The horror, he was a remarkable man. After all, this was the expression of some sort of belief. It had condor, it had conviction, it had vibrating note of revolt in its whisper. It had the appealing face of a glimpsed truth, the strange commingling of desire and hate and it is not my extremity I remember best. No, they did not bury me, though there was a period of time which I remember mistily with a shuddering wonder, like a passage through some unconceivable world that had no hope in it and no desire. I found myself back in a spectral city, representing the sight of people hurrying through the streets to filch a little money from each other, to devour their infamous cookery, to gulp their unwholesome beer, to dream their ex insignificant and silly dreams, they trespassed upon my thoughts. It was not my strength that wanted nursing, it was my imagination that wanted soothing. His opinion that Kurtz really couldn't write a bit, but heavens, how the man could talk. He electrified large meetings, he had faith, don't you see? He had the faith. He could get himself to believe anything, anything. He would have been a splendid leader of an extreme party. What party, I asked? Any party, answered the other. He was an extremist. A shadow of insamable and splendid appearances of frightful realities, a shadow darker than the shadow of the night, a drape nobly, and draped nobly in the folds of gorgeous eloquence. The vision seemed to enter the house with me, the stretcher, the phantom bearers, the wild crowd of obedient worshippers, the gloom of the forest, the glitter of the reach between the murky bends, a beat of the drum, regular and muffled like the beating of heart, the heart of conquering darkness. I rang the bell just before a mahogany door on the first floor, and while I waited, he seemed to stare out from the glassy panel, stare with that wide and immense stare, embracing, condemning, loathing all the universe. I seemed to hear the whispered cry, The horror! The horror!